Hey everyone, it's me Nita. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out my new Vivor heat press made for hats. So it's a hat press. So I'm going to be using my new hat press to heat press um, DTF designs onto some hats. I'm also going to be using HTV as well to do some like simple worded designs onto the hats. So uh, I'm really excited to test out this heat press and come up with some new hat designs because hats are like one of my biggest sellers at craft fairs and at markets so I want to make a bunch of hats tonight to prep for our market and then just have more options too for my online customers as well so um, let's dive in and let's talk about the materials that we'll be using today okay first off we have the Vivor hat heat press it's very it's not too big um, it's perfect just to tuck away in the corner. Um, super easy to use. So we're going to be using this hat heat press today. And then I have a variety of different hats um, to choose from. So typically I embroider onto hats, but today we're going to be using DTF prints and HTV. But I have a bunch of different colors. Colors perfect for the fall, Christmas, some tie-dye ones, and just like every day use ones. Um, I'm also going to be using some DTF transfers. I made these last night. Um, I have a video and I'll have that linked up above for you guys to check out, but um, I made this, these DTF transfers using my Epson DTG printer. So I'm going to be using those tonight. I'm also going to be using my Cricut Maker and some HTV. I'm just using black and white. Super simple and easy. I'm not going to be layering or doing anything complicated with HTV. I just want to do simple words using the HTV. So hopefully this project tonight is super easy. I also am going to be using some um, heat tape as well. I usually use this for sublimation, but I figured I might need it tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and use it. Um, I really love this little tape dispenser because it will like pre-cut the little strips of tape for you, which is so nice to use. Um, so I don't know what to do first. Um, I think maybe let's go ahead and do the HTV first and then we'll do the DTF prints. I kind of want to do one of these tie-dye ones. So I'm going to show you guys how I hoop it onto the machine, um, onto the hat heat press. So again, this is a Vivor hat press. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Um, because we're using HTV and DTF transfers, we are going to want a medium to heavy pressure. Not too tight because I did notice when you do do it too tight, it, this heat press is really hard to open when the pressure is way too tight. Um, now for the temperature settings and the time settings, um, I have my heat press set to 350, 305 degrees, I'm sorry. I have my heat press set to 305 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to be heat pressing the HTV and the DTF transfers for 15 seconds. With HTV, I can Im immediately peel off the plastic sleeve and heat press it for another 5-10 seconds to get that HTV stuck to the hat. For the DTF hats, we are going to heat press it for 15 seconds and then wait to peel off the little plastic sleeves. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all that, but I just wanted to kind of say it in the beginning and then I'll repeat myself um, when I am working with the DTF or the HTV. So I'm going to go ahead and get my hat hooped onto the machine. Now there's like this little lever, um, so when you are getting the hat onto the machine, um, you're going to want that lever. I guess upward and then you're going to tuck the back of the hat 
over this little piece and you're gonna wanna make sure that the bill is at the end of like where the hat press is and then you just let go of the lever and it makes the hat super t like tight and like flat for you so when it's putting the HTV or the DTF transfers it'll be nice and flat for you so that looks pretty good okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do these two like retro font dog mom and cat mom designs onto like a tie-dye hat so I have this purple and like white and green one I think that'll be perfect for a dog mom so I just like to do a little crease on the HTV and there is um a seam on the hat. I'm just going to line up that little crease I did on that seam and then you just want to make sure that it is nice and straight. All right, I think the placement looks good. I'll show you guys. So this is like where the heat tape would probably come in really handy but with HGV you can just put it right back down. Um, I about have, I have about like a finger I guess from like the brim of the hat. It's like I like to do a little finger test and I think that should be good. It's center good. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull down the lever and close the heat press. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just to be safe. Okay. So one thing about this heat press though, this brim kind of gets stuck where the handle is. And I kind of like hurt my finger a little bit. Okay. I also need to attach the heat press somehow to my table because it does, when you lift it up, it does kind of like go up too with it. So it's definitely not a, like a heavy heat press to where it will stay in position. It will move around. So if you're able to somehow attach it to like a table so it doesn't move around, I totally suggest doing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, take the little transfer sheet off of the hat, and then I'm gonna press it for another five seconds. Now I'm gonna remove it from the press. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna take this little red lever, I'm gonna push it down, and carefully take the hat off. Try not, don't burn your hand at all. I just kinda touched the top of this, so be careful when taking it off. And then here is the dog mom design. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna use this like tie-dye blue colored one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and attach the cat mom one. So there's that one. That one came out pretty cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just fast forward through the rest of this part. Once I get done with all the HTV, I'll show you guys how to do the DTF. But let's go ahead and do some more designs. I want to do a black hat next. And for the hats, um, I forgot to mention, I do get these all from SS Activewear. The hats... Um, that they offer. They offer a variety of different types of dad hats. You can use this heat press for structured hats as well. Um, in today's project, I don't have anything planned for the structured hats. So I only have dad hats planned, but dad hats you can get for pretty cheap. Um, they range from like $3 up to like 7 sometimes $12, depending on the brand and the type you get. Um, the tie-dye ones that I have, these are Sportsman, and these, um, I want to say were like $8 from SS Activewear. You do need to have a wholesale reseller's license.
So I'm really loving how the white HTV looks on these hats. Like, so cute. Love how these are turning out so far. I really love this one right here. Just the white on the black. Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the black HTV. really love this like orangish color I think it's called Texas orange from SS activewear I think it's gonna look great with this Nashville design that I have Okay, so this is the last hat. Um, HTV ones came out really good. Okay, so I really love how the HTV ones turned out. So here's this one. It says Faith. I did one in varsity letters. I think this would look really cute too if um, the vinyl was white too. I think that would work perfect with both of these colors. And then pumpkin. I really love this orange. I thought Nashville would be a good one to add to that hat and then just the plain simple black on white or white on black it just love it i have pray over it okay so next thing is i'm gonna go ahead and cut up my dtf transfer i'm gonna separate all the designs okay so i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure what hats to use with all these designs um Let's see. I do have some Christmas designs, so I think, of course, I need to do a red hat. So let's do the red hat first. Now, typically, with DTF transfers, I use the same settings as I would for HTV, 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. But I'm kind of curious to see how this heat press works with DTF transfers. We shall see. Um, with this, with the DTF transfers, I am going to use heat tape because the transfers aren't like sticky at all. Like, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here, this is how I have the transfer on the hat. Okay, so DTF transfers, you don't want to peel off the plastic sleeve right away. So I'm going to take the hat off, set it aside. I'm going to go ahead and get another one going. I'm going to use this green color next for another Christmas design. have a spooky vibes one. I think that'll look really good on a black cat. Okay, so I just peeled off the DTF transfer. Now I'm going to heat press it again without the transfer on it just for a few seconds. I do another five seconds typically. 
All right, so here is the DTF one. I'm loving it. Here's the Spooky Vibes one. I really like this one. Tis the season. So after you peel off the transfer sheet for ZTF transfers, just like D, uh, just like HGV, you just have to heat press it again. I'm loving it. Okay, this next, these next two that I'm gonna do, these designs are like my favorite ones. I really love how these ones look. I'm hoping that these ones turn out good. So I have growth through it. I think this one will look really good on this earthy tan color hat. I'm just making sure that when I put my heat press down that the whole press is going over the design. And while you're waiting, you could even just kind of pre-tape all your hats too to kind of make it more efficient. Okay, I'm taking this one off. Design came out perfect on this hat. Oh, you have to remember to take out this part of the hat. Sometimes I keep forgetting to take this out. I really like how quickly, though, I can get these hooped onto the heat press. Um, so far, I'm really, really liking this heat press. There's just a few things that I would like different about a hat heat press, but overall, I think for the price of this one. I think it's a good deal. Okay, gotta peel off this one now. It feels cool to the touch. Here's a gobble gobble. I also really like the color of this gray, not gray, this black sportsman hat. It has like a really heathered vintage look to it. So, hopefully they have these hats in stock. I have a lot in stock already just because I make um, embroidered hats for markets so we're kind of good on hats but hopefully these ones sell really well okay so I'm thinking this design on like this green color but I also have like this tie-dye gray one and a purple one as well I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it on this green one. I think that'll look really cute. Hopefully my husband, he said you can use these on, or DTF transfers on beanies. I'm not gonna try it tonight. Um, that definitely will be a whole separate video um, because I'm gonna be adding beanies too for my next market just because winter is coming. So I think having beanies is another good option to have at markets and to sell online. All right, so here's the Stay Wild one. I freaking love how this one turned out. Love it. All right, guys, so I'm officially all done with all the hats. I'm quite impressed with how quickly I was able to bust out all these hats with 
that Vivor heat press and the DTF transfers in HTV. So I'm really loving how these turned out and I hope they sell well um, at our next market. And I'm definitely going to be working on listing all of these too on my website. So I have a busy couple days ahead of me, but yeah, I really love how these all turned out. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this review of me testing out my new Vivor hat heat press. I'm even more addicted to making hats now because these were so quick and easy to make and very simple. So doing these for markets is going to be a breeze. So I'm excited to bust out some more hats in the next few days and get all these listed, but I'm really, really loving this hat press. A few things about the hat press though, I do wish that it was a little bit more like sturdy and a little bit more heavier so it wouldn't shift around too much when, when opening and closing the press. That's my only complaint about the heat press is that it shifts around too much and it's like not as heavy and like sturdy, but it does the job and for the price, it's not too bad. Definitely give this video a like if you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.